Hello, I'm Alan, and this is a video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more John Crash. Today, we're going to be checking out the brand new top one. Yes, finally, Zoink Verified Tidal Wave by Onilink. And we're going to be checking it out today. I made a video talking about how I'm very excited for this level. I think it's really cool. I enjoy the fact that it's a different type of top one relative to what it's been before with a lot of health themed levels and a lot of levels that take themselves a little bit too seriously. This is a wave themed, which is not the most exciting, I'm not going to lie. Beach level, which is much more exciting, and we're going to be checking it out today. Last time I only watched the video and talked a little bit about my thoughts around the level itself. Today, we're going to be checking it out, seeing if it is going to live up to the hype that I have for it, and we're going to be having a good time with it. This is a long level. Oh, I don't have the song. Wait. Brother, give me a download link, bruh. Now, because I am the nicest person on the planet, I will be um leaving a link to the song in the description so you guys can have a way to find it because I had to go out of my way to get it right here. So, for you guys, I'm going to be leaving a link to it down below for you guys to download. So enjoy that. But anyway, let's hop into Tidal Wave. There we go. Something I have been curious about though. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. I have been curious about the spikes here on the side. Because I can see here there are tiny spikes on the side here. They don't have hitboxes. At least these ones don't. Which is a good thing. Because I read uh, in Vision's description, because Vision has 24% already somehow, that this level does not have fixed hitboxes. This level does not have fixed hitboxes, unlike... <laughs> Avernus. Which is a good thing, because as you can see here, throughout the spikes everywhere, they're just regular spikes. That is very exciting, very awesome, very good. Ooh, that's a little bit of a rough transition. There's a little like, black screen right here. That's kind of... I don't know. There, there might be some sudden transitions, but I assume it's just kind of like very muscle memory based, right? That seems like a buffer. Is it a buffer? Two seconds. I'm curious about that. No. But it's a very early click. Okay. That makes sense. This seems fun so far. This very beginning, at least, seems like it's enjoyable to play. Yeah, okay, that's just me messing up. That is a... Okay, that makes sense, though, because they don't want you to land on the corners. Because if you land on the corners, you're going to, like, get setups where, like, you fall perfectly down and you can just hold, right? That makes sense. We could just hold anyway. Ooh, this kind of flows nicely. I like it. Like, every single input doesn't feel that crazy I'm, I'm assuming that's just gonna switch entirely once you get to the drop though right yeah it still stays the same i was very worried about this part because i was looking at the video and i was like wow if these spikes are real that's gonna be rough but no they aren't oh that's awesome this is hard wow okay this star position sucks okay Got to the drop. I, 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 that was a little bit more turbulent than I thought. Mostly because of the fact that I it's early morning and I haven't really woken up yet. So I'm going to cope and say that is that. I don't know about you guys, but I think this part looks sick, dude. I've seen, There's a lot of people complaining about like the level just doesn't looking good. But like this part looks sick. Uh, similarly to Solar Flare, though, I'm just not good enough at Wave for this. I'm going to be taking you guys through it slowly where it's easy. Oh my god, never mind. That's not easy. What is this gap? <laughs> I think the thing that I really like about this is that it shows that levels don't have to be that impossible to be top one anymore. All we need to do is just push skill and consistency to its limit. Because this level, like, obviously, gameplay-wise, it doesn't feel as hard as something like Akron or Avernus. But because of how much longer it is... Oh, never mind. That looks... That is a hard gap. That is... That feels tight. Okay. Wow. Ouch. Yeah, that is... Wow! That little gap right there, 30%, that's rough. That's rough. Okay. Yeah, stuff like this. That is... That is some Sonic Wave Infinity type devious. Ouch. We're gonna go there. Hello? Does it want me to go above? Oh, oh, oh. Now we're getting to the problem that I was worried about. As you see here, they're not like super fixed, but you can tell that these little extra spikes here will add a little bit more difficulty. Well, actually, I don't know. If you're down here anyway, you will get killed by this corner. So maybe not. Maybe I'm overthinking that. These ones definitely matter though. These ones on the side here, 100% matter. Yeah, you are dead there anyway. These spikes definitely add a lot more objects, though, than necessary, so it's a little bit laggy. That is so hard. How the hell does anyone get good enough to do this, dude? I will say, though, the, some of these wave parts feel very good to, like, try. Like, stuff like that is just satisfying, right? Like, I feel like this level has a lot of satisfaction factor to it. Oh, that's devious. What is that? Click? 
Oh, that's disgusting. Look at that, dude. I'm gonna jump late and then hit that, which is like the most insane pink orb timing of all time because I that is near blind. Oh, dude, I have a 1440p monitor, right? You can see the cut off here on the side. That should probably be fixed because of widescreen. I feel like, I, I kind of feel like Sherlock Holmes going through this with like the intent of finding like terrible hitboxes just because of Zoing's like reputation when it comes to hitboxes, right? Like the fact that he has such a bad rep after Avernus, that we have to like actively search for the worst possible hitboxes is kind of crazy. Also, this click is so hard. What the hell, dude? Haha, <laughs> you can just do that. That's funny. That is a very devious input. That yellow orb should not be there. It's super tiny though, so maybe the hitbox is not, is much more uh, forgiving than you think. Yeah, I definitely felt a little bit more forgiving. That is nuts. Hello? That's some list challenge type gap right there. Holy shit. Wow, that is a disgusting input. Let's see if, uh... I know a lot of people throw shit at this part for looking ugly, but I kind of like it, man. I don't know what it is. I just think this part looks kind of cool. Okay, so there is an H block in there, so you don't have to like micro click that. That's very considerate. I like that. Oh, what the hell is that? What is this, dude? What is this gap? Hello? I can't tell if that's not nearly as hard as it looks. Wait, what are the hitboxes here? Hold, the, hold up. Okay, it's actually not nearly as bad as I thought it was. Is that a hole? Yeah, it is. Wow. There are a lot more like lenient inputs than I expected. I thought like every click was gonna be like absurd, but there are some very lenient things in this actually, surprisingly enough. Obviously not everything, as you can clearly tell here. You have to hit that super late. Wow, okay, that UFO click is much harder than it looks. I don't know, dude, I like how this looks. I know that is such a hot take apparently, even though there's like a lot of like copy paste here just to like visualize the wave as you can see here in the backgrounds, you have like just these things just scattered around, which admittedly, yeah, it looks, it's not like that much texture, but when it's moving quickly, you don't really notice it anywhere, right? Okay, the duel is actually, it seems like it's actually very lenient. There's a lot of like not hard clicks in this at all. Damn, that's, that's surprising me. Where do you even go here? Down there? No way, right? I mean, that, that does make sense, but it's like, okay, this is the part that most people have been criticizing a ton. Like whenever people are like, oh my God, Tidal Wave is so ugly. It's usually this part they're pointing to, uh, namely like this red orb in particular, which, okay, I will admit that does look really bad. But like, is it enough to make the entire level ugly? Not really. Oh, use the circle ones. Ooh, that's gross. I will never forgive Rob for making those circles. Nothing so far has stood out as like particularly harder than anything else though. The duel seemed a lot easier than everything else. Oh, that seems, this seems fun. That part seems really fun. Okay, I like that, that is cool. Yeah, nothing has really stuck out as like much harder. But then again, I'm playing on half speed, so maybe uh, I'm missing out on some crucial details with like lighter taps. It's very possible, and it's definitely something I can see being the case. Oh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. I take everything back that I just said. Okay, I don't actually. Some of the transitions really suck. That is one thing I will criticize this level about. Uh, I think a few of the transitions are really, really sudden and really bad. Like this yellow orb in particular, not very good. I can barely react to it in half speed, let alone full speed, right? Is that the first ball timing in the entire level? I think it is, right? Ooh, I don't know. That dash orb release felt a little awkward. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of those things that, there's a lot of inputs in this level that feel very particular in the way that they just the way you have to like click them or release them just doesn't make a lot of sense which can add a lot of like um what's the word for it like what's actually the word i don't remember my english is failing me right now like familiarity bias is maybe gonna play a little bit of a role into like difficulty because a lot of the inputs just don't feel like they exist in any other level Oh, that's cool. I like that. That is really sick. That, the end of that part was really good. Like that felt really fun to play. That's a run that I might want to try and do someday. That was really, really enjoyable. I really like that part. I want to go through it again.
Yeah, that part, that, that was really cool. That was really fun. I like that. That, that was a sick part. You go here, let me click. Okay, that was interesting. I think Swings talked something about the fact that this is like a really hard part. Because when he first got like 90 something on this, he was uh, freaking out over the fact that he fluked this part, right? So I'm guessing this is like a hard, like technical part. It seems that way with the way that the wave structuring is, right? Yeah, we have like this. Ah, uh, portal clicks, my favorite. I love portal clicks. Oh, wait, this portal looks sick. Hello, these spikes are awesome. They're very, like, they're very simply made, but they're really cool. Dude, I don't know why the hate for a lot of the decoration in this. Like, I feel like a lot of it looks really cool. Like, obviously, it's not as polished as, uh, as a lot of other things should be. Like, I think the main thing for a lot of people with this level is the fact that it just feels like it lacks a lot of polish, which I can agree with. I don't know. There's just so something cool about it. Like, full detail, I think, looks sick. Okay, I like that. That, that. that is interesting gameplay. I like the way that they make that. Also, this part, the little sunset part, I think this part looks awesome. I don't know. Maybe I'm just fanboying a little bit too hard. I don't really know why. Like, there's just something about this level that, like, sticks out to me. Like, obviously, these spikes are, like, copy-pasted around, right? But they look cool. It's a cool detail. Oh, those hitboxes. Okay, those hitboxes are a little bit goofy, I will admit. Those hitboxes are quite silly, but whatever. This ending scene is really scary. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I think this seems like a good level. I'm not gonna lie. I think this genuinely feels like it would be a good level. It doesn't seem like it's really carried by any particular part. It feels like it can be really solid. These are the people who worked on it. Zoink Verifier, of course. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, Veowen and Crazy were people who tried doing it before it was given to Zoink as verification because it used to be of an open verification, right? But no one really ever made progress. Assumption, uh, I'm not sure about that. But hey, I like this. I don't know. I'm excited for this. I'm very happy that this finally got verified. It's cool to see that we are actually getting like a cool, interesting top one for once again, right? I'm looking forward to this. I'm excited to see, hopefully that it gets rated. I don't really know. The, it's so polarizing that I'm not sure if it it will be simply because a lot of people just i don't know people are just on their hater arc obviously people are entitled to do their own opinion i think the gameplay seems fun it's just way too hard for me right but if i were good enough to play this i think i would enjoy this i think i would have a fun time playing it it's a very wave heavy level which is a shame because obviously wave heavy levels are a little bit abundant but I don't know. I, I'm excited for it. I'm, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the level place and I'm excited to see people make progress on it. Congratulations to Zoink and Anilink for finally having the level out and verified. Huge, huge congratulations. I'm excited to see where it goes and I'll see you guys later. Anyway, I'll see you around. Each of you stay healthy, stay hydrated. Thank you for making about it. But hope when you're a little bit better too and I'll see you guys around. Peace out everyone.